Last week we studied about King David passing the baton of the kingship onto his son Solomon, and then David passed away. Um, look forward to seeing him in heaven and talking to him about herding sheep like we were talking about the farmer doing uh, Sunday. Uh, when Solomon had done everything he needed to do to confirm his authority in the kingdom, uh, he, he took care of all of the people who needed taking care of, whether it was taking care of or providing for them financially, whatever needed to be done. He took care of that. Um, as per his dad's instructions, he decided as the final thing we are going to do to confirm I'm king, he went to the place where the tabernacle Moses built was being kept. I believe it was Sechem. Uh, and he made a big sacrifice to God. And that night, while he was sleeping, he had a dream. And in his dream, God said, Hey Solomon, I want to give you a gift. So I want you to name whatever it is that you want the most, I will give that to you. So he could have said, well, I want to be the richest man in the world. Which or he I'm could have... I'm pretty sure he already is at this point. <laughs> He's not yet. Um, he could have said, um, I want to be a mighty warrior and conquer all my neighbors and control the whole Arabian Peninsula. He could have said, I want to be famous. He could have said, I want to be beautiful. He could have said a lot of different things. But what he did say was, God, I'm young. I don't know anything. And you've put me in charge of this whole country, your people, your special country. And I don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> Lord, what I want more than anything is for you to give me the wisdom to be a good king, a good ruler to your people. And God said, ding, 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 right answer. Because you have asked for that, I will give you wisdom. In fact, there has never been anyone on planet Earth wiser than what you are, and there will never be anyone wiser than what you are. You will be the symbol of wisdom for all of history. And because that's what you wanted, and you didn't ask for riches, and you didn't ask for fame, I'm going to give you riches, and I'm going to give you fame. He's the king of already. Yeah, but Israel's a little bitty country. Um. And um, God, God did that. To this day, the reign of Solomon is known as the golden age of the Israelite nation. Uh, he was uh, very wise. Uh, we will study about his wisdom more next week. Uh, and he was very rich, and he had no trouble with his neighbors until later in his life. Uh, when he backslid, he quit serving God uh, at the very end of his life. Uh, then he did have trouble with his neighbors. But until that point, he had peace. Uh, he had the riches. His fame spread through the whole region. God answered his prayer. And this is a, a sample to us that we need. Well, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So we have to put seeking God first in our lives, like Solomon did at the beginning of his reign. And when we do... God makes sure we have everything else that we need. And do you know what a need is? A need is what is necessary for you to accomplish God's will in your life. Solomon needed riches, so God gave him riches. Some people need powerful jobs, so God gives them powerful jobs if they seek him first. Some people need a small, comfortable home. Some people need to be able to be mobile and have the mind that they can move at a moment's notice. Whatever it is that you need to accomplish God's will, he'll give it to you. And he promises that. And God can't lie. 
So seek him first. That's the qualifying thing. You seek him first and his will. He'll take care of everything else. You don't have to worry about it. So let's sing our song. Jesus loves me.